Okay, so, uh, a little while back, um, if you follow me on Reddit, Instagram, or YouTube, you might know that I was thinking of doing, like, a business card that was mostly just like this. It was 3D printed because, you know, 3D printing is kind of my thing, uh, with the channel, because I've done, you know, a bunch of 3D printed rides and stuff with Starflyer, or, uh, dimensionally sort of accurate little, like, museum model of Batman the Ride, and a working KMG Speed, etc., etc., so I thought, well, you know, the best thing I wanted to do was to make a impressionable business card um, that I could hand out and stuff like that. But I thought, you know, why why just stop there? Why not make the business card, aside from the packaging, of course, um, into a model? A little, you know, pretty simple model, nothing complicated, not a bunch of pieces. I thought, okay, you know, what what uh what coaster would I want to make it? And I thought, what about a Skyrocket 2? Because, uh, as some of you might know, uh, the original Skyrocket 2 was at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, which is my home park. Now, it's not the most, it's not the best capacity coaster in the world. It's only got a single 12-person uh, train, so it's kind of it's kind of like a capacity. I don't get to ride it as often, but it's a good ride nonetheless. It's uh, very forceful, especially at those top towers and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I thought, okay, that's a pretty simple coaster. I could probably do that. It's pretty vertical. Uh, it probably can be flapped pretty easily, so, you know, I spent some time that I could have been doing my homework and stuff like that, but, uh, and then I ended up with this. So these are the three, uh, coaster pieces, and this is the base, um, of a business car coaster. Uh, and yeah, it's a, co a coaster model, I guess you could say. And, uh, so it has, you know, the link on there. This coaster Labs, and that's a little bit more raised than the the bit that we part. And then you have the name down here. Obviously, I didn't put uh, Premier Ride Skyrocket 2. I put Multi Launcher Rocket Coaster because it's not too specific. But you know, it's kind of like the whole thing where uh, some people who are like selling merchandise, even though I'm not selling this, I'm just giving it away for free. Um, you know, they don't put the name on there because it's technically sometimes copyrighted, or often it's copyrighted. Uh, so they just kind of do that. But most people who have it would know what it's supposed to be. Uh, so you're kind of aware who your audience is. And anyway, so a lot of you are asking, okay, so it's a business card. So is it like going to fold out? So, uh, someone who I'm in the chat with, his name is Charles, I forget what, like, his ad is, sorry. He's gonna, he's gonna get on my case about that later. But, um, he actually decided, uh, since I showed him mine, um, to do one where you, like, you fold it out of the business card. Like, it, it's one piece and you just fold it out. Uh, and so that actually should be pretty cool. I like that idea too, so maybe I'll try that. But anyway, as soon as I keep rambling on, um, this is the business card coaster. So what you do with it is that you have your base, and you have your front, yeah, this is the front, and this is the back, and then you have your track layout. So these are actually designed so that they can't um, be put in the wrong way. So this hole is bigger than that hole. So obviously if you put the small one in, it will fit in the larger one, but it'll, you know, it obviously doesn't go in there, and this one fits pretty much perfectly. Uh, so you have uh, two halves, and they basically have little gaps in between them, and then they're spanned. Can I focus? There you go. And then, uh, maybe the other one's a better example. Uh, it has little, like, spans that are smaller and thinner, so that you can actually bend them instead of actually bending the actual structure. So the whole structure is, I want to say, a millimeter thick, and then the little spans are half a millimeter. So at those points, they'll bend, and that's exactly what we have here. So the rest of the thing is pretty stiff; it won't bend when you try to bend it. So if you lightly start bending it, what you'll do is you'll take it and you just bend the side like that, and then you'll bend this side. And this is the front, so it's going to go over here on the base. And just goes right in. And then you'll take this other one. I've been folding this back and forth, so it may just come apart right in front of us. Uh, but you fold it the same way, and then you just slot it right in. Um, but first you want to put in the uh, actual track section, which is a single little piece. Just slots right in right there. And then you just put that in right there that's it that's it that's everything um and the cool thing is too is that i i posted about it a little bit and then i 
I guess I thought I hadn't posted about it, so I posted it again. And uh, actually, Premier Rights actually saw it and they uh, reposted it on their Instagram stories. So that was pretty cool. You know, a little recognition for that. That's fun. Um, because apparently, like, their marketing team goes ham over little things like this. Uh, so what happens is that uh, if you find me in a park and uh, you subscribe to me, now you have to be subscribed. Um, this is kind of an incentive. And you follow me on Instagram, though subscribing is a little bit more important because that's my main mode of uh, content for the most part. Um, you'll get one of these. Uh, so just make sure to ask about it. I may not have a ton of them because these, the base takes a little while to print, um, but the rest of the pieces don't. So to just come flat pack, no, obviously not like this. This is pretty messy. And I'll have this nice little um, little packaging that goes on top. And you'll be able to uh, to just, yeah, that'll be yours. It's free. And if you can't meet me, I'll put it on Instagram. Or Instagram. I'm thinking of verse if you really want it. Um, so again, yeah, it's supposed to be a little business card, and there's an actual business card. I'm not going to show the other side because it has my personal information on it. Um, it just, yeah, it fits right on top. I think I might have to modify the track a little bit because it's a little bit big, but it just barely fits. So they'll have this nice package in the front. It'll be blue. It'll say Coastal Labs. On the side, it'll have uh, some of my photos and things like that that I've taken of some of the parts and the panoramas and stuff like that. So I think it's going to turn out really nicely. And I might, I probably will have a few different uh, coasters that you can get. I, I'm still thinking of some. I'll probably do V2 because that's probably the simplest one because it's also pretty vertical or pretty like linear, if you want to call it that. So if you can think of any other linear coasters, I know some people have just suggested like Top Little Jackster and King the Car. If you have any other ideas, uh, just don't suggest an instant Zach spin because I'm not doing that. Um, then yeah, definitely send them my way. I might also do a free spin. That's another good idea. I should do that. Um, so yeah. That is the business card coaster. Uh, this is Coaster Labs, and I'll see you in the parks. Bye. Okay, so it's the next day, and I actually wanted to show you guys the packaging of business card. So, uh, again, uh, here is what's going to look like on the front. Uh, I'll probably add some smaller details to it. I'm not entirely sure. I like the final result, but it's nice and simplistic. Um, and of course, I'm gonna print it in color because I get free prints at my school, so I might as well use them all. Since I don't think I'm gonna be using them this semester, might as well just uh, abuse it, if you will. Um, I'm already paying for it. And then on the bottom, we have a panorama. This is gonna be on the side of the box, as I thought, what can I put on the side? And it hit me like, oh, panorama, that'd be perfect. And so I put that, and it's kind of cropped in, but you can see pretty much everything. Yeah, that's SFTK. I think this is yeah, this is the one I took just recently. Uh, so it's pretty updated. And then you have my name, me, I'm the owner, obviously, um, and or the creator, whatever you want to call me. Uh, then you have the link, which is bit.ly uh, slash coaster labs, obviously. Uh, that's the one that's linked on my Instagram. And of course, you have my Instagram, obviously, uh, which is at coaster.labs. So if you're not following me right now, go do that. And then you have my Gmail, which, yeah. So if you want to, like, business inquiries, things like that. If you want to collaborate or have any questions, there may be a more long form. You want to send a picture or something. Usually I'll take pictures through, or like videos or whatever through uh, Instagram, through like DMs and stuff like that. But uh, if you prefer an email, for the old-fashioned way, then yeah, I could definitely do that. Um, just no uh, like spam posting because they don't just, yeah, I don't, I don't, this is more, that's more for serious stuff. Um, and again, this is not your average business card. Open me because uh, it's going to be wrapped around a small model. And I did actually update the base as I showed earlier. And yeah, so then it kind of just, it'll sit flat. And I, I ended up uh, taking the front half of the base and just lowering it so that the little uh, connections or little bumpers for the end of the model uh, fit into that area so it's not like sticking out or making it um, bulky or perhaps you know it could possibly like, break it or rip it or anything like that but then you have a second panorama here on the bottom um, which is Batman which is a nice photo I think turned out really nicely um, so I think I'm gonna print these on cardstock I'm gonna first print them on regular paper I'm gonna just you know do three at a time because like, I think I was able to squeeze three of them in um, onto one like landscape sheet and then, of course, you know, we're glad to meet you. Let's keep in touch. Business inquiries, the same email that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but this is 
on there because I mean it was either gonna be that or just like a blank area because this is one two three sides so this side is gonna have a little bit of glue and it'll tack on to the back side of that so if you rip it you can see my email it's got a little bit more information on there for you and I think that's it so yeah this is gonna be more of like a referral program so if you find me in the park and you want one of these um yeah just make sure that you're subscribed and uh, try referring Let's say three to five people that you want to subscribe, and if you can, uh, if you can, I guess show it or show me to verify, um, then yeah, you'll get one of these. Uh, not too hard. Just trying to grow the channel, trying to have some kind of form of incentive. So when you see me at a park, you know, mostly Discovery Kingdom or uh, California Screen America, then you can get one of these. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the parks.